Hey Crawford cuties, want to know how to plan your one-year-old's birthday party in five easy steps? Just one, two, three, four, five. What's up Crawford cuties? We are back with another video. Hey, hey, back with another video. Hey, hey. And in this video, we're going to teach you guys how to plan a birthday party. Not just any old birthday party. A birthday party for a one-year-old. Guys, this is special to me because on January 21st, my daughter will be turning one years old. Can you believe that a year has passed that fast that fast guys that fast but um if you're new to this channel please if you like me go ahead and subscribe you know it, it's free it doesn't cost you anything but uh if you're already a crawford cutie make sure you turn on that notification bell so you'll see when we have new videos posted and you will always be in the news and and know what's going on with your favorite family the crawford family so we're gonna go ahead and get into it guys how you plan a birthday party like when you're planning it for yourself now some people when they plan their birthday parties they go all into it but a lot of people i have not seen do this unless they're like an event planner when you are planning a birthday party the first thing you want to do is you know the birthday is coming up. So you wanna start in advance planning the party. That's tip number one, start in advance to plan the party. You wanna give yourself enough time to write down all of your thoughts, find a venue, uh, find decor. What do you want the decor to be? What colors do you want it to be? Some people, parties aren't that deep, but for a one year old, if you wanna go all into it, um, definitely take the time to plan in advance step number two once you started planning in advance what you want to do is you want to sit down and write out a checklist a checklist is going to ensure that you have purchased all the necessary things and covered all the necessary bases so that your party can run smooth and cool and calm just as if you were a crawford <laughs> y'all like to play on the phrase to stay cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you see it. But anyways, so here's my checklist, guys. And I'm going to show you the bottom of my checklist <laughs> because there's some information at the top that I simply don't want to get out there. But on your checklist, you want to make sure that you have the date of the party. You want to make sure that you have the time of the party. You want to make sure that you have the place. Is it going to be at your home? Did you pick a venue like Come on, guys. We need to know where the party's going to be. Then, the most important aspect of your checklist is a budget. Make sure you choose a budget and try to stick within the limitations of that budget because it's a one-year-old party at the end of the day. I mean, to each his own, but you don't need to go off spending $9,000, $10,000 on a one-year-old party. That's just asinine to me. But um, also on that checklist... Another important thing that you want to have is the theme of the party, what kind of food you're going to have, clothing, what are you going to wear, what's the dad going to wear, what is your kid going to wear, um, activities for the party, are you going to play games with the kids, uh, are you going to play games with the adults to keep them engaged, and for me and my daughter's birthday party, I'm actually planning some games to keep the adults engaged, and also since it's COVID, uh, I want to get people outside. I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia, so it's fairly warm um, in January. Well, warm to me, a Floridian. <clears throat> My husband always thinks that it's cold, but it's fairly warm to me. So, you know, you can get outside and do activities, but I want to keep the time moving and I want to keep people engaged so we're not just sitting around bored the entire time you also on your checklist want to add if you're going to have any gift bags or any like giveaways for when your guests are leaving 
Um, and if you have, depending on the size of your home, you want to kind of sit down and see how you can maximize your home space. Now, my home isn't really small, but for the amount of people that I have in my family and trying to keep everyone six feet apart, you really have to think about how you're going to maximize that home space. And that's why I got creative with those games so that everyone can get outside to get some fresh air. Last but not least on your checklist, you want to have the guest list, guys. Who is all coming to your party? So that you can go ahead and pre-plan how much food you'll need. Kind of just uh, get a, a gauge and a sense of all the items that you'll need once you have your guest list written down. All right, guys. Once you have all that on your checklist. The next thing that you want to do, and I think we're on step three. I did not write the steps down. I'm just going off the top of the dome, guys, because that's what we do here. We wing it. But the next step, which would be step three, you want to go ahead and get your invitations out. You want to get those out well before the time so that people can RSVP. Don't just show up to your door the day of the party. But <laughs> no, you want people to go ahead and RSVP so you'll definitively know how much food you need how many gift bags you'll need for the kids if you are playing those games how many prizes will you need etc etc all right guys so that was step number three send out your invites stay with me here stay with me here guys we only have two more steps to go these are very easy steps <laughs> But go ahead, step number four is to buy the items in advance. Make sure you purchase the items for your party well in advance of the party. Uh, this was a mistake that I made and it had gotten down to the wire and I was like, what the hell? And this all might backfire on me actually because we're gonna sit here and go through the items actually on this video that I ordered from Amazon. So if something is missing, I'm going to find out right here on camera. So that's why I added this as a step on how to actually plan a party, you know, well in advance. Make sure you go ahead and buy all the items that you'll need for the party. That's any decor, any gifts for the kids. Do not forget about that. You, you don't have to give your child a gift at one. They're not going to know what the hell is going on. But if you want to, make sure you go ahead and buy it in advance so it's here or it gets to your home well before your party. But yeah, any decor, any gifts, any clothes that you're gonna buy, any food items that you can go ahead and purchase, which that probably be like drinks and stuff, just store those items in your home for the party. But yeah, anything that you can buy in advance for the party, step number four. Purchase the items in advance. Y'all don't have no sense. And the last step, last but not least, is to have the party. Put everything together the day before the party. Make the space look great. Get all your family together and just simply enjoy yourselves. Keep in mind, guys, as I kept saying, this is a party for a one-year-old. And a one-year-old is not going to remember what the heck is going on. You're basically creating these memories so you can't go back and show them. So you do want to, you know, focus, make your focal point having fun. At the end of the day, just make sure you have fun. But those are my five steps on how to plan a party. And now we're going to get into the fun stuff, what we're all sitting here waiting for, and that's to go through these items that I purchased for the party, guys. All right, guys, now it's time for our favorite part, the unboxing of the items. I'm so excited, hey, because I get to see in person, hey, what I ordered my baby, hey, for her little beat day, for her little beat day, what's up? Okay, let me stop. Um... They're in no particular order, and I'm going to be cutting these boxes open on camera. So, just stick with me here so we can see. And I'm going to sit right here so that I can link everything right here. Get some nice photos for you so you can see how it looks on Amazon. And I'm going to put the link for all of these items below. So, the first thing I have here, uh, I was going to Party City 
and this is no shade to Party City, but I was uh, looking for some balloons because I wanted to do like a big balloon thing. I wanted balloons, balloons, balloons at this birthday party, but I didn't see any in Party City the night that I went because I went last week trying to, like I said, do stuff at last minute. So don't do that. Do everything in advance. What's that? Was that number? Uh, I think it was what? Number four. Step number four. Do everything in advance. But yeah. So I went on Amazon, guys. And I found this party pack, guys. And this party pack comes with a lot of things in it. If you can see, it comes with balloons, a pump. It comes with um, like the big balloons that say happy birthday. And it, it has a lot of things in here. And I'll link it right here here so that you guys can see what the picture looks like on Amazon to so see if it's something that you're interested in getting because it'll save you the headache of buying all those pieces individually so I think that was a good buy the next thing we have from Amazon where are my scissors guys some of this stuff I might speed up so you don't have to sit here and watch it <laughs> okay so this is not party related but I ordered my daughter some um some nuke uh sippy cups so that we can transition her off the bottle and she's actually doing really well with that it only took us literally a few hours to transition her off the bottle she hasn't thought about it at all next box I got here was already open because it came the other day but I bought her for her birthday one of these Amazon Fire Kids Edition tablets. And we don't need a picture beside us because we can clearly see what it looks like. But my cousins actually suggested that I get this for my daughter. She's always playing with my phone or my husband's phone or a work phone. And you don't want your kid playing with your work phone. But um, yeah, now she can have her own electronic. Something uh, else that I'm not going to show on camera I purchased her a bookcase for her room because she's been getting so many books and we want her to start reading more. Well, she can't read yet, but we want to start reading more to her and, you know, really drilling in her head about education. So that was one of her gifts, a bookcase, and I'll link it right here. We purchased that on Amazon as well. And it's really nice and it goes with the aesthetic of her room. And excuse the aesthetic behind us, but I'm, I'm working on that as time for Christmas. So dun, 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 dun. let's see what we have in the next box, guys. And like I said, bear with me here. I wanted to open these boxes on camera so that we could experience everything together. Okay, what the world is this, guys? Um, so these are the little tumbler cups it's going to be a part of the gift bags that i give away for the girls that are coming to the party and it comes with the cups it's six cups in here it comes with the cup tops and a straw for them that is so cute and what is this um one of the games for the adults is going to be a panda bow on Minnie mouse and it's going to go outside we're going to hang it up on the back of the house and we're going to it comes with blindfolds that's really cool and we're going to blindfold each of the adults and they're going to try well, whoever wants to play they're going to try to pin the tail on the mini so that's a, a cute little item there guys All right, here's another box. And guys, comment down below. Let's get some engagement going on. Tell me what you did for your kids. If you are a parent, what did you do for your child's uh, first birthday? If you are an aspiring mom or dad, um, or soon to be mom or dad, or even a support system, to a parent, uh, what would you want for your kid's first birthday or your niece, nephew, whomever the child is to you? You know, let's just engage below. What would you want to do for their first birthday? Another item I purchased, y'all like, what the hell is that? These are shoe covers. 
and you can get these off of Amazon as well. I chose shoe covers because my daughter plays on the floor a lot. We have hardwood floors all throughout our home. So I would like people to have shoes on instead of, because generally when people come over, we have them take their shoes off, but this time we'll just have shoe covers. This is what I'm telling y'all about. Order your stuff and get your stuff in advance. I order the number one candle or whatever. And on Amazon, it looks like it's going to be big. But look at this. What the, am I supposed... I'm going to pull it back so y'all can see how small it is. What are we supposed to do with this? Crickets? Crickets? I'm going to use it, but they need to be shaming themselves for that. And I'm gonna put a comment on the reviews so they can know this is not gonna fly. This is ridiculous. So, y'all, we have one more box to open up. So, it looks like so far we're so good. And I don't know why it feels like I didn't get that much stuff, but my sister actually has some things for me. Like, she's doing a pink carpet and some Minnie Mouse backdrops for photos and things of that nature and whatever I need to run out and get for my baby I will do that on Saturday morning that's where we're gonna put everything together on Friday and then whatever I'm missing on Saturday morning I'll get up go and get it guys Ugh. so here's the big boy box and this box should have about seven or eight items in it Come on guys help me out here send me some muscle through the tv land or the phone land wherever you're watching this from all right guys so i got the last box open i love that they try to protect your stuff but putting all that plastic in there that's aggravating because kids can chew on that so right here we have a welcome to our home door sign that we're going to put on the front door so everybody knows it's the right house. Now this one I was expecting to be a little smaller, but this is a um, flashing uh, number decoration light up. So, okay, this will make up for that small little candle because this is huge, guys, huge. Then I got my baby a pack of Minnie Mouse socks to match her outfit because we got her a shirt made and her dad and I we got shirts made as well and since we're in the house she probably can just wear socks and then throw on whatever little shoes to go outside but we'll see oh these are so cute so these are the gift bags um that I'm gonna put party favors in candy and those tumblers if they'll fit for the girls so gonna put all of those in these gift bags hmm what's this oh these are all the party favors i'm gonna put the image right here it doesn't seem like a lot is in here but thank goodness i don't have that many girls coming because um oh okay i see I'd be a little upset about that. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in here. So we have some hair clips. Some pencils. None of them can write. Well, maybe the three-year-old. Ooh, some tattoo squares. And they got Minnie and Daisy on there. Uh, then we have some award medals here because all of the girls are winners. Um, what's these? Smile makers. I don't know. They look like little stickers or something. What else we got here? Oh, and a little pin. And of course, Mel can wear that because it says, if you can see, life of the park. So those are cute party flavors, I mean favors. And like I said, I um, went to Party City and got some candy and stuff to put in the bags and the girls will also get the tumblers, so that'll be fun. And last but not least, I ordered um, these plates with the matching napkins. 
and my mom and my sister went out to Dollar General and got me some, and I, I got two sets of them. But um, they went out to Dollar General and got me some supplemental cups and silverware and all that fun stuff. But this is the basis of what you need for a party, guys. And for me, I know everything is going to go off well. Guys, that's all the tips I have for you today. Those are all the things that I ordered off of Amazon. I, like I said, will put everything that I did order, all the links down in the description box below. So if you are interested in getting any of these items, if you want to throw your kid a boutique birthday party or have a, um, what do they call the, the two-year-old parties? Oh, toodles a old toodles birthday party you could grab some of these items for your kids party as well but guys please whatever you do <laughs> never forget to stay cool calm and crawford